Atmosphere. Hi, this is Nick Wolbig. Thanks for checking out our podcast, Crack a Beer. Crack a Beer is brought to you by Sir Benedict's Tavern on the Lake. Sir Ben's is located on the shores of Lake Superior with an authentic English pub atmosphere with Great Lake views and voted the best outdoor seating spring, summer, and fall. They feature live musicians five to seven nights a week with a full bar serving 20 plus beers on tap and a huge domestic and import beer selection. Plus, they serve the freshest gourmet sandwiches accompanied by homemade soups and dessert. Check out Sir Ben's today. Welcome everybody to the Crack a Beer podcast. We are here once again at Sir Benedict's Tavern on the Lake. Uh, today we are trying the Lake Superior Brewing Company Kayak Kolsch again. Uh, we did this one a couple weeks ago. We thought we'd bring it back and try something a little bit similar to it. Um, and that is the Goose Island Four Star Pilsner. Uh, so first we're going to get back to the Kayak Kolsch. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, it's good. I love this beer. It's pretty good. It is very good. Well, a couple weekends ago, I got it. And it's an awesome Sunday beer yeah. that you, you can just relax with. A little bit of information again. Uh, we got some, some more information than last time, too. Uh, the Kayak Kolsch, uh, bright yellow in hue. Um, the IBUs, 35 IBUs. Uh, that's the International Bitterness uh, Unit. On um, the hops that they use, uh, their their bittering hops changes um, from batch to batch or every once in a while. Um, the finishing hop, though, is the Tetnang hop, uh, and that adds the aroma. Um, and really, that just kind of not as much the bitterness of it, obviously, but mm-hmm. the finishing flavor. Yeah. Um, and we did some research on the Tetnang hop too, and that is out of a very small area in Germany. So that's kind of cool that they went out and found this one particular hop. Mm-hmm. They were able to find a good use for it. Uh, one question I got a lot uh, when we did the kayak Kolsch was, what does what is a Kolsch, or what does Kolsch mean? And uh, Kolsch is a local brew of the city of Cologne in Germany. It is one of the, the palest German beers made. It is German's answer to the British pale ale, and it shares a history with the copper-colored all beer made in Dusseldorf, about 44 kilometers down the Rhine River from Cologne. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do this one with the Goose Island Four Star Pilsner. This one. Cheers. Right. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Right. Yeah, come on, okay. man. All right. Can't, you can't miss Boom. it. Here we go. You know. Definitely more bitter. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. This is a bitter beer. And uh, this one, it's a, it's a Pilsner, obviously. Um, this one has, it's 44 IBUs. Um, really not that not that big of a step from the Kolsch, but you can definitely uh, you taste. You can taste a different flavor. It's a right. really different flavor. It's very different. Yeah. I don't know. I like well, the Kolsch better. Kolsch is much more smooth, I think. Yeah. And the uh, cool thing about Goose Island, um, I mean, they have a lot of their beers available to us up here. They're, they're out of Chicago. Um, considered a, a, a craft brewery, but they get their stuff out there really well. And... Uh, Every time I see their beer on tap, I try one. I mean, it's no. the kayak Kolsch is just such an easy drinker. That it is. It, you got to be in the right mood for the Goose Island, and oftentimes, I am a little something, you know, something stronger, yeah. something with more taste. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So on a, on a taste scale, the Goose Island definitely takes the cake. Um, but on a, on a drinkability uh, scale, I think the the kayak Kolsch for me. That's the, yeah. That's for you. I the kayak Kolsch. I just finished it. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, I love the flavor yeah. of it. It's not bitter. It's not too sweet. It's right in the middle, and it's easy to go down, and I, that's why I like it. Yeah, I'd okay. have to say it, the Colch, too. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm still not completely into, into the bitter beers. Like, yeah. I'm growing more accustomed to them, but, sure. but it, you know, if you definitely, if you like bitter, more bitter beers, I'd say, say the Pilsner would probably okay. be the yeah. one. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's in my to, opinion. Two to one for the kayak culture. Yeah, I've got a, I'm sticking on board with the uh, with the Goose Island uh, four star pilsner. A little bit of information about uh, about Goose Island. Uh, the brewery was built in 1995 and is more than doubled in size since ori- since originally built. Uh, they built their tasty. They bring you tasty pints using 32 fermenters, over 15 different yeasts, state of the art filters, centrifuges, and a 50 barrel JV Northwest five vessel system 
that brews 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It turns out that making awesome brews is quite the science. Luckily, their brewers facilitate facilities have all the equipment necessary to deliver the results. So that's kind of cool. Um, Goose Island was built in 1995 in Chicago. Um, the uh, Lake Superior Brewing Company in Duluth here was built in 1994, and that is the oldest microbrewery not only in Duluth but in all of Minnesota. Nice. So that's kind of cool. We're drinking, yeah. you know, right around the same year they were built. Um, quite a bit of history behind uh, yeah, Lake Superior sure. Brewing Company. Very, very cool. Is oh God? I can't believe you guys not are not thinking the same way I am. Mm. I don't know. That has some great taste to it. I. I don't know. Oh, no. Well, I definitely think the Kolsch would be a better beer if you're yeah. sitting on the beach. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know. Kolsch, yes, for yeah. sure. But I just don't like better beers like this. Yeah. It just tastes, I don't know. It just doesn't have that oomph that I that I think a beer should have. But. Yeah. And with last week with the uh, that Hot Forest from Bed Paddle, mm-hmm. I'm almost getting more, not more hops necessarily, but it's a lot bolder than the hot forest was last yeah. week. Yeah. So that's interesting, too. Well, because Pilsners usually aren't that hoppy, either. Right. No. I mean, that's that's the thing that surprised me about it. So it's, I don't know, I think it's almost a Goose Island thing. They just use a yeah. lot of hops. Yeah, they don't mask it yeah. like other like other uh, breweries do, necessarily. Which isn't a bad thing. It's No, I mean, it has that, they have, that flavor. They have good beers, but... Yeah. It's, I'd say if you're, like I said, if you like bitter beer, then definitely the Goose Island. But yeah. yeah. It's kind of a slow sipper one, though, for me anyway. That I just want to get, I just want to get done. I just finished it. I want to get done and over <laughs> with. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, we do have a dessert beer today. Uh, this is new to Sir Ben's. It is the Coney Island Brewing Company Hard Root Beer. I've had that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is. We're having dessert at uh, one fifteen in the afternoon. Have you guys ever, have you guys ever tried um, the not your father's root beer? Yeah. 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 That has a very uh, like the, the old fashioned root beer with the yeah. kind of sarsaparilla taste. I have not had. Coney I've never Island had Coney before. Island before, so this I've had. I have. I have actually like pounders. You can buy oh, pounders yeah. of um, not your father's. Yeah, root not beer. your father's root beer now. Oh, I didn't so know like, that. that's cool. Yeah, you can buy them, but. Um, We'll see what happens. I've never tried this kind before, so we'll see right now, I guess. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. everybody. It's good. Tastes like A&W. It does taste like A&W. Holy like, crap. Like, almost exactly. Can't even, can't even taste the liquor in here, no, either. No, no. And this with, is deadly. Not your father's. You well, can, you can taste it a little I bit. I can taste it in not your father's. I yeah. can taste the liquor in there, but... This one. This is this is what they call dangerous. This is dangerous <laughs> <Yeah>. to people. <laughs> and what, what's the percentage? I don't know. I don't. Not your father. Five point eight. What's not your father's? Isn't 5. it? Five point nine or it's six percent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah five point nine. Yeah. So people, do not have too many of these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might you might have a good night or a bad night. <laughs> or a good night or a bad morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah, you could. If you're pounding these down, you'd definitely black out pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this mean, is really good, though. You ever tried a, a hard root beer with uh, a little bit of... Uh, I have ice cream or no? No. Well, yeah. I mean, you could do an ice cream sundae with this. Yeah, thing. I know. Uh, if you do... What is that called? Rum chata. If you do it with rum chata, you get that same kind of ice cream flavor. Nice. With, that, with a nice cinnamon uh, flavor to it, too. And that is extremely good. Yeah. I highly nice. recommend that. Here on the on the label here it says vanilla, licorice, and birch. This root beer will bring you back to the boardwalk. This tastes like the boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that licorice taste in there though. No. Let's try it again. I'm guessing it's black. I mean, obviously it's a black licorice you know, that per- they're talking about. But personally, I can only have one or two of those though. Really? Because it's too sweet. Uh, but even with the not your father's root beer, it's it's so sweet. I can only have one or really? one or two. Yeah. I, just, I could probably I have like four or five. My stomach can't <laughs> handle the <laughs> my stomach can't handle the sweet stuff. Sure. Like it's just get gut Oh, I can I can taste alcohol though when you towards the end, so like oh, really? it must go to the bottom. Up with you a bit. Yep. Good to know. Yeah. You can taste it a little bit at the a end bottom. Bit. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, All right, everybody. We're gonna. I guess Earl and I are gonna sit here and finish our beers. <laughs> <laughs> it was good I'm already done. Today. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Crack a beer. Hi, this is Nick Wolbig. Thanks for checking out our podcast, Crack a Beer. Crack a Beer is brought to you by Sir Benedict's Tavern on the Lake. Sir Ben's is located on the shores of Lake Superior with an authentic English pub atmosphere with great lake views and voted the best outdoor seating spring, summer, and fall. They feature live musicians five to seven nights a week with a full bar serving 20 plus beers on tap and a huge domestic and import beer selection. Plus, they serve the freshest gourmet sandwiches accompanied by homemade soups and dessert. Check out Sir Ben's today.